Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hola. Hola. I loved your character. Oh my goodness, there's some surprises in there. There are some surprises. Yeah. 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 So, you know, I was uh, I was talking to the composer about Slappy's voice. Um, he really did a good Slappy's voice. Can you do yeah. it? You know, they kept saying, they kept asking me to do it, and I don't think I ever really got it right. But um, you try. Yeah. I, I'm better with Slappy's eye movements than than really? his voice. Yeah, yeah. You don't like how you sound. I, I didn't. I don't think I sounded like no. him. No. That that's a singular I'm voice. Uh, yeah, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. No. Yeah, you gotta be in the spirit as well. Yeah, you yeah. I have to, yeah, yeah. Well, there is, there is a, I mean, your character evolves, let's say, right? She goes on a journey. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 she does. So can you um, give a little hint of what's going to happen with your character in the movie? Well, let's just say that um, Slappy abducts me. Yeah. I think we can say that without giving away too uh -huh. much. That little mean puppet takes me back to his lair, mm -hmm. and it gets ugly. And you get to, uh, I mean, you're the queen of improv, right? I, that's thank that's you. your, that's, I, what, that's what I tell people. Yeah. <laughs> so did you get to improv in this movie? I did a little bit of improv okay. when I just couldn't help myself. But, you know, there were times when I absolutely had to stick to the script because it was, something was being CGI'd in, you know, that I had to absolutely react to. But I, I had a little fun. I had a little fun with it. I mean, how much fun can you have with Chuck Black and, you know, Mr. Chu? Uh, Come you? on. Yeah. It, and yourself? I, we had a good time. We had a good time. I'm very lucky I got to be a part of this. No, but seriously, how does that work, having, having like the three best comedians in one movie? Well, there's a lot of biting my lip and digging my nails into my hands so that I don't start laughing. You know, there, there was a lot of that. And Chris Parnell who is also one of my favorites. He plays, you know, the the guy I fall in love with. And, yeah. you know, he's so funny. I've been a fan of his forever. So, yeah, there, there's a lot of times where I'm literally trying to think of anything else other than what's happening right in front of me because I'm going to start laughing. Anything crazy happen behind the scenes? Like, can you share any... You know, anecdotes, anything that happens between you guys, and let's see. Advices that you guys give to each other. Advice. Party. Well, I will say that, you know, the kids really set the bar very high for professionalism, okay? I felt, I felt like a brat next to them because they were so professional and awesome, especially this lady right here. She's beautiful, by the She's way. She's beautiful. Um, but, uh, Let's see. As far as funny story, I will just tell you that um, when we were filming, it was like allergy season in Atlanta where we filmed. So we were all walking around. Uh, like there were times when we all sounded like this because our noses were so stuffy from allergies. But other than that, I there weren't a lot of like joke playing. Like we really had to get this done. You guys filmed more mostly at nighttime. I yes. Okay. A lot of nighttime things. Is there any similarities between your character and your life and yourself? Well, the similarities would be that my mom worked really hard, and and I know she wanted to be home with us, and I know she wanted to be there for us when we were teenagers and going through the toughest times of our lives, and she couldn't be. Um, she didn't have the option to not go to work. So I, I felt how that would feel as a mom especially when you've got super smart kids that do things like blow up science labs at school like when your kids are too smart for their own good I get it what was the first thing you gave to your mom the first what the, the first thing that the gift the first gift that you gave to your mom the first gift that I gave to my mom let's think about that I think when I finally learned how to drive myself okay. that was the biggest gift I could give her because then she was like Great, I'm not a taxi for you anymore. <laughs> took you to the, the audition. That freed her up for a lot of things, you know. So I think that's probably the... If she ever had to say she was thankful for anything I did, that would probably be it, is, you know, for keeping her off the freeway. You're so funny. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice.